All my life, I've always been a tall and skinny guy. I'm 5'11 and a half, and my body type has always been pretty lean. I would go to the gym like three to five times a week for the past few years, but the thing is, I don't eat enough calories and protein to see any type of progress. So I'm gonna show you guys my body type. I think I'm at an all-time lowest. I weighed in at 147 pounds. My body fat percentage is 12.5%. I've been feeling pretty small and pretty weak, and I figured today would be the perfect day to start a 30-day challenge. I was probably averaging 15 to 1,700 calories a day before. It says here I should eat 3 to 500 calories more a day or 700 to 1,000 calories a day if I want to gain weight fast, and I definitely want to gain weight fast. Honestly, this is going to be a tough challenge. I just don't eat that much, I guess, but there's no better time than today. I'm 26 years old, and it's about time I really try to push my body. Day one, let's go. My goal is to hit 157 pounds by the end of the 30 days, weightlifting five times a week, eating 3,000 calories, and at least 150 grams of protein a day. Weight of the world on your shoulders. I guess you're wasting me. So I downloaded this app called My Fitness Pal, and I'm gonna be logging all of my calories and protein, everything I'm eating throughout the day. I must be favored to know, yeah. I take my hands and pray. Thighs, steamed broccoli. This whole meal is about 481 calories, 46 grams of protein. The first few days of the challenge was a big shock to my body. For one, I haven't gymmed in three months. And on top of that, I found myself constantly eating throughout the day, making sure I'm eating over 1,000 more calories than I'd been used to. The first week is the hardest, but I was ready to see this transformation through. just ended. Honestly, my body is just so tired everywhere from working out so hard every day. But today we're going to be making some breakfast. I put together one cup of oats, two bananas, and I'm going to put two tablespoons of peanut butter. You know, the hardest part of the challenge is not even the working out. It's the force feeding. I'm almost done with this 800 calorie breakfast. Force feeding is not fun. <laughs> On day eight, I decided to check in with my fitness YouTuber friend, Sherman, to see if my week one was on track in terms of my calorie and protein intake. So for the calories, 2,526 calories a day. Okay. Protein, it's 155 grams of protein average a day. Like I usually try to hit gram of protein per one pound of body weight. You're just above that, which is perfect. Calorie wise, I'd probably try to keep it more consistent. It looks like it's going up and down. <laughs> We're gonna do an ice bath then. I'm sore everywhere. Time for some recovery. All right, let's do it. 90 seconds in the ice bath. Sherman was right here. I was way too inconsistent with my caloric intake for week one. Some days eating 2,000 calories a day, others eating 2,700 calories a day. For years, I had just been used to eating less than 2,000 calories a day, and the hardest part about week one for me was just feeling bloated many times throughout the week. Hopefully things get better in week two. It's time to recover, dial in, so I can reach my goals. Feeling good, day eight out of 30. Let's keep it going. All right, day 10 feeling pretty good about myself. You know, I think I'm starting to look a little bigger too. Oh man. calories and like 150 to 200 grams of protein a day is really caught up to me. Yeah, I'm just not feeling great. I've been feeling bloated all day. So much so that I ate such a light lunch and like I didn't really snack. Still gonna go gym. I'm gonna hit push today. I usually do push, then pull, then legs, then like a break. So today I'll do chest, um, triceps, not feeling great, very bloated. So day 14 finally came, which marked the end of the first half of the challenge. I decided to go back to scan my body weight and body fat percentage to see if I was making good progress. So I weighed in at 151 pounds, 13.9% body fat. The body fat percentage went up by 1.4%, which is good to see. I saw online that one to two pounds a week is a healthy rate for weight gain. So it looks like going from 147 pounds to 151 pounds in two weeks is on track. But if I wanna reach 157 pounds by day 30, I'm gonna have to push a little harder and eat a little more to gain six more pounds in this second half. I skipped dinner today because, I don't know, I didn't feel like I want to be too full. A little bit of a rest day in terms of everything. Just gonna celebrate Halloween. Halloween. 
we're hitting chest today, but in my bench press peak, I would rep about 170 to 175. And since I haven't gymmed in three months, I really struggle just getting five reps with 45 pound plates. Today, I'm gonna try to go for five reps, 165. Out of shape, maybe in week three. I had already convinced Elliot to join my gym, and I just convinced Sean to sign up for my gym, so this is Sean's day one. What's your gym goal? 165. Me too, me too. Race it to 165. At this point, I had gone to the gym almost every day for 18 days. I was feeling like I was regaining a lot of my lost strength. I stopped feeling so sore all the time, and I was getting into a nice flow of waking up, eating a lot of protein, and going to the gym every day. <laughs> Bacon cheeseburger, 1060 You get a hamburger, you get fries and a milkshake, almost 3,000 calories. That's my daily goal. Double cheeseburger, 1,500 calories, 50 grams of protein. Walk of shame. Let <laughs> me just put this away. This is more my section. Right? All right, for dinner, we have three quarters of a pound of salmon from Whole Foods. Taste test. Every day the routine gets a lot easier. Banana, oats, and peanut butter again. We have Daniel Tamago Back visiting. Back again. He was in my last video, trip to Bali. He's running the New York City Marathon. All right, we're gonna hit the gym in a bit. All right. Jet's getting recognized. Training with Jet. Be like, rest set, three minutes. He'll never get big like that. <laughs> it's now been three out of the four weeks of the challenge. And I will say the biggest thing that has helped me push through is being able to work out with friends every day. With friends means that I push myself harder, go more consistently, work out longer, and it's just been way more fun. Overall, this has really turned into a big lifestyle shift, and I'm ready to push through for the last week of the challenge. Bro, check out. Dude, that's some crazy ass GPS veins going on right there. <laughs> I'm currently eating dinner. This is boneless, skinless chicken thighs from Whole Foods. This meal puts me at 2,100 calories today, and my goal here is 3,100 calories, so it shows that I need to eat 1,000 calories more before the end of the day. After going through three weeks of 3,000 calories, more or less a day, and working out five times a week, I'm just happy to see that I've pushed through this far. And on this last week, even if I don't get to 157 pounds, I feel pretty proud of myself that uh, I've been eating a lot. I put myself out of my comfort zone for my normal day-to-day -day routine, and that is a win. 30 days is kind of an unreasonable amount of time to have a huge transformation of the body, but I know that after this video is posted, I'm still gonna keep going because uh, if I'm eating 3,000 calories, I must gain weight in like three to four months. There must be a noticeable difference. So that's the goal. This is more than just a YouTube video challenge. I'm really trying to change up my lifestyle right now. I guess this is my check-in on the final week and it's time to really push. Yeah, honestly, I'm just tired of being called skinny. skinny. No. Day 29, I hit my final chest day. Then on day 30, it was finally time to do one final weigh-in. This is my last scan. Day 30, moving for 157. Hey, Your scan is currently processing. My official weight came out to 154 pounds, 14.3% body fat. I gained seven pounds in the span of 30 days. I didn't reach my goal of 10 pounds in 30 days, but all things considered, I pushed myself to do something I've never done before. I've never gained this much weight so fast. I've learned so much about my body type and what it actually takes to get bigger. Maybe the missing three pounds is the friends I made along the way. I introduce you to my friends, girlfriends, you ain't interested in making friends. Talking about you wanna cook for a nigga in the kitchen, can you make a mess? At least we know you got a cake. This 30 days isn't the end, but the start of my own personal fitness journey off camera. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed this, consider subscribing, and I'll see you in the next one. Jeez, bro, this is your thumbnail right here. This is your thumbnail. This shouldn't be on YouTube.